Hello everybody and welcome once again to Beyond Galactic Science. Now, at the end of the last episode we're having a few problems with mind chem, but I think it's working just fine. Let's kind of have a quick look at that. So it was coming into this chest here. And it's getting pretty full, but you see there's a lot of iron and there's a lot of titanium coming in, so that means it's reasonably well spaced out. The eggs are going out, so let's just um see we've got quite a lot of stuff coming in here, all sorts of lots of ingots of different things gold redstone we're getting plenty of redstone now which is great so i'll just take this filter out of here and let everything go through and that should simply empty out i've got to take the sword as well yes everything's clearing out of there we'll leave that for a few minutes so what i'm going to do today let's have a look up here again and in here we've got that mob sp spawn rad set up uh, no mobs at all, never seen one, so I guess it ain't working. I reckon it's too light in the TARDIS. But I was playing with something else. I was playing with open computers and Minecam. And it sort of works, so I've just got to figure something else out here. So this is a, an adapter, and inside the adapter I've got an inventory controller upgrade, which allows you to access the inventories around it. But I don't have to do that yet, so I'm going to look at that and come back and do something else in the meantime. So what we're going to do today is we're going to basically do some mine chemming. And what I'm going to do with mine chem today is I'm going to take the original power mechanism that I've got. Now the original power mechanism I've got, and it's actually the one that does most of the mining even now, is to use hydrogen. Now to, wait, to do that, what we do is we take a chemical. Let's just uh, open this roundel first of all. I need onto that power and I need a power interface and a fluid duct interface. So we've got fluid duct interface here. Let's put that on there like that. And let's get a power interface. I think I've got some in here. Hopefully I've still got a few. Let's try going around here. Nope, gonna make one. Let's go downstairs and quickly make another one of those. So I need this mod and I want the energy conduit one so I also have got iron gold nuggets and redstone it should be in here so I haven't got enough let's take some more gold nuggets and iron haven't got enough of that either let's go and get some more there should be plenty coming in here now because I've opened up the 22 stacks let's take a stack on that and come down here so it's this one. I need probably more gold nuggets than I've got, so let's just can only make not even make any actually, so I can make one. Let's make a load. Because we always need them. So I made ten. That's great. I'll put the other stuff back in here. Hopefully it don't need that for the time being. And we'll put these interfaces in here as well, so let's sort that out. Like that, good. I shall get. I'll go up and take the lift. So I'm doing that over here. What we're going to do is the way to actually do this is to let me get the, the right interfaces on here. Is to use um, mine chem and separate water to hydrogen and oxygen, and then use the hydrogen as a fuel. And it actually works really well. So now all we need is a cable. And we'll put the chemical just decomposer here and we'll power it up. We'll also attach the water as well. So I need a conduit, I need a fluid duct, which I've got here, I've got two of those already, and some energy conduit, which I've got plenty of here. So I have two of those as well, maybe we need one. So we'll shift that onto there, that's fine. And this onto here, like this. Before we do that, let's make sure we've got this configured. Because I want to use tank one, and that's using the energy. How do I do that then? Oh yes, like tank one, that's great. So we need basically getting water in, if you remember from previous episodes. Now can that attach to there? Yes it can, good. So we just simply need to configure this now, so we need that, so we just need to always active, like that, and then that will automatically extract water out of there. 
and as you can see it's starting to turn around already now water of course is two oxygen two hydrogen and one oxygen so it looks about right now the water is not coming in desperately fast we'll speed that up i think next job so what we then need to do is take this out of here and put it into say two barrels and let's cut i got two barrels here I'm not sure if it'll work if I do it like that, or if I have to put a cable on it. So I'll probably be able to put a cable on, don't I? So let's do it one further away. A bit too near. So what we want in this barrel, let's take out of here some hydrogen and some oxygen. So I'll put the hydrogen on the left hand side. I have to move this barrel first of all. And nice, let's do that like that, and then we can put oxygen on the right hand side. And we just get these two connected up with some item ducts, which I should already have as well. I've only got two left, I have to make some more. And we only need to extract. So we take the, you have to hammer and be sure you have to wrench. Basically, make that sure it's going in that direction, like that. Simply right clicking on there, and then we can right click on the on the plate to actually make this as an auto extract always active and that should then start to fill up as you can see it is I'll do the same on this side as well oops actually you can right click it and it'll change it down so those two are done we don't care about channel colors or anything like that it'll simply go in here but what else we could do and this is something that's really useful to do as well so let's put this down here. Actually, what I do need is another, another barrel. Let's go and get another barrel. Because what I want to do is make the two upgrades. Let's actually let's do that on this crafting table first of all. So we've got some upgrades here. We only need two each of these, and we've got a B space upgrade. The B space upgrade is the one I use. It's interdimensional. It's it's actually a really good nice little thing so right here we go so let's take these two here and put those on so we want shift right clicking on that one on that one and on this one the reason i'm doing that is because actually i don't want to be space upgrade on one of them i want to avoid upgrade on the oxygen because we're not going to use that much oxygen and i put this in the wrong place I have to just quickly knock that out of the way because it's hydrogen on the left hand side. I don't think it actually retains it. I'd have to pick it up with a dolly for it to retain the upgrade. So that's a bit uncool. So let's put it one down about there. And then let's upgrade these with the second one. The reason we're upgrading the second one is because. I think, that, well, we know this one has got three slots in it, but the B space upgrade takes two, so we need three slots like that. You see that there's now two. And then what we do is we shall upgrade these with that this last one here, like that. So then they're now fully upgraded. You can see that with the hammer, no spare slots, but you can see at the bottom the B space bit. Now, what we can also do, and this, I think in my bag, I think it's this one. I should have the tuning fork. What you can do here is you can simply shift right click this, I think, and then it says this fork starts resonating, and then right click this one, and then those two are linked together. Oops, I left clicked it. I left click that. I should have left. I should have taken it out. So I'll try it again. Shift right click it, and you'll see that those then are identical. So everything in one is in the other. So I don't need to do anything more. If I want to move this barrel, I then take a dolly and move the barrel. So on this one here, I want to put a void upgrade so it never gets completely full. So let's go and make one of those. We'll get one out of the chest down here. Or one. Uh, where have I put it? Do you know, I can never remember. Ah, oh, here we go. I still got some void upgrades. And they use two slots as well. What we do need is another barrel. Which will take that one. So let's make two while we're at it. Because we seem to run out of these fairly quickly. I'll put those two up there. I don't need these anymore. 
and pistons will be at the top one that's these are components i've got in here so we need four of those so as you can see i wasn't very long ago and i made a stack of those was there so that's just some upgrades for that So now we simply upgrade this barrel here and move that out of the way. So we'll give it one upgrade. Let's use up one of the slots. And then we'll use the next one of the void upgrade, which uses the other two. So that will then basically fill up to 512 stacks of oxygen. And that'll be it. And then the rest will get thrown away. But in the meantime, these will also be used. So if I wanted to use this in any process, as fuel and you can use it in anything actually it's amazing stuff so for example let's make a I'll tell you what we've got in here i think we've got a furnace in here so we have let's take a piece of wood there should be some wood in here like that fly up if i can i'll just take a one hydrogen will do actually let's just take one hydrogen into that shift left clicking and then we can put the furnace down like this and inside that we can put the wood which we want at the top and the hydrogen and you'll see that'll actually sm smelt that i don't know whether it's enough for one piece it doesn't look like it is so i have to use two then Hopefully that will be enough. Yes, it is. Actually, it was enough. That's interesting. So we had one hydrogen left over. And of course, you can do that again. But this hydrogen you can use anywhere. So let's take that out again. And then simply do all right like this. And that will actually take it out of my inventory, put it back in again. So you can use that anywhere you like. And the way I've been doing all my stuff up to basically the beginning of this series was we using um, sterling generators from Ender.io. So, if I can spell it that is, which is obviously not the case. Where is a sterling generator? Is it st OSTIO, isn't it? Sterling generator. So that's a pretty straightforward recipe, actually. One furnace, one piston, and two basic gears. Basic gears are just wooden stone sticks and stones make one of those actually we need eight don't we so I need some more and I need some smooth stone I should have some smooth stone over here I have to be very careful I don't use this on this because it will break <laughs> This that tool is so powerful. They push a simple left click on it, and it will actually break it. So, we'll just uh, take out with an apple. No danger in apples. And I need twenty of these. Sixteen. I think. Because what you make, you do with those is you basically put those like that, and then you get your five. No, twenty of those. Oh, I don't need so many actually. Never mind. And then we want a furnace, which we've got. That's so we need some gears and a piston. Two gears, one piston. Pistons are at the top, aren't they? And that should make the sterling generator. What's what I'm missing? Two gears we've got. Did I not pick up the piston? I didn't, did I? I picked up a barrel. That was careless. Never mind. Right, now one sterling generator. Now with that, it, if we put that upstairs like this, and the way I was doing this before with early game is using um, extra utilities transfer pipes. But actually, having said that, I might be the only way I've got them because I've got no more. Um, transfer notes, that'll do use one of those, that's pretty good actually. Because it demonstrates the other things I want to show as well. So now, 
we simply put this down it actually behaves differently in this version as the other I didn't need the pipe you see and as soon as I do that it's getting power in here and it's generating 20 RF per tick which is fine but what you can do is here is you can upgrade it so we'll actually upgrade it with both types of capacitor so I think we need about um, I think we need about four gold that'd be wrong we need eight redstone and we need two copper to make one set so I make four copper for the for the other ones what else do we need we'll need an ender pearl some more redstone so we need two ender pearls I think and some glowstone and what else do we need uh, basically I think that's it we'll soon find out probably forgotten something I have to go back for it and get it again so what we need is a capacitor so when you can afford these just make loads of them yes yeah, golden nuggets four so we've now got four of these now with those the usage of those is this one so we need some coal powder and some energetic alloy the energetic alloy is simply gold redstone and glowstone in the alloy smelter so let's just get those going to start with so we need gold redstone and glowstone and i don't think i've got enough we need that was two for each one wasn't it so that was definitely another gold I'll tell you what i'll just take the stack and mess around and take the stack of these as well So we need some more gold in there. I think we need, I think I've made, how many have I made? Two, is it? Yes, I made two. So I need another four of those. And then we need to do that again. again. So we need another four of these. And that'll make another four of those because what we need to do with these we've got 10 i think that's probably maybe not quite enough we need f i think we need two energetics like that so we can get those working as well so we can put those energetics to make some vibrant alloys so now we should have eight that's enough. We also need some coal dust. I don't think I can use charcoal for making coal dust. We'll try it. Then we'll go in. We need some coal. In fact, I've got some coal dust down here. And I need some more glowstone, which I've got, because I need to make a, a glowstone block. Right, I think that's everything we need. So, now the usage of this here it's basically this one so we'll make two of these and then the usage of these you go to the second recipe page is this one here so you need your two vibrant alley blocks and your two of those so we take that so you get your octetic capacitor very important now while we're here let's put the stuff back again so we don't need that 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 in fact we don't need that i think that should disappear in back in the right place and the gold nuggets we'll put over in this chest over here like that Now when I insert this into this here, you'll see it's nearly reached its 100,000. It'll now go up to 500,000. And the rate now goes up to 80 RF per tick. And the fuel actually doesn't actually use that much more. I think it's, it uses about, it says here, burn rate 133%. So it's using one third more for four times as much power. So it's well worth doing. That's where the people say it's got this thing. So with that, you can take that any way you want to, in any dimension, and you've got a reasonable amount of power. So if you need more, you just need more. Now what we need to do next, so we'll look at this. See, it's empty. It's not getting enough water in. So we need to speed up the generation of water. Now, water was being generated with um, extra, extra utilities. 
Let's have a look if I've got any of those with me. I don't have any with me. Let's kind of look where it's being generated. No, let's make let's make the upgrades first. It's probably much more sensible. So I need some. I know I know I need some iron because you need iron for everything you do. And we need some sticks. Let's have a look. We're going to make probably about f four. So I'll need eight sticks. I know you need that because you need to make pick iron pickaxes like that. So what we need now is the extra utilities upgrades. And we need the speed upgrades, but we all, we actually need the world interaction upgrades. So we need lapis lazuli. So we need 16 of those. Take a stack of that. We've got enough iron, so that's fine. I've not tried this entirely. So I hope it does work actually, because I'm not sure if it's limiting. So we have to keep doing this until we get all four of them, because it's the iron pickaxes don't stack, but the upgrades do. If I go around here now, R and press R again. And it'll actually move it around. So if I do it here, yes, I oh, know, yes. It'll catch it from that slot there. So now we've got upgrades. So let's put the other stuff back in here. Anything else I want to get rid of? No, I don't think so. Oh, charcoal. Put the charcoal in here and let it get out. You see, this is now empty. I can turn that off actually and I'll see if it. Um, put the filter back, might be a good idea because the filter was just for eggs, wasn't it? Turn it back on again. Well, by the next 10 minutes or so, while the episode lasts, we'll see how much we get. So now, the this is done in the actually just by the, um, the grinders over here. I'm doing it down in this little room here. And I sort of filled it in, put a ladder on the top of this, it's easy. So now this thing, if I'm not mistaken, is working reasonably well. But if I put in these five upgrades, it should actually increase the amount of water. So I think that was actually, see it says here it's got eight, eight buckets in there. I thought it went up when you put it in, doesn't it? It might even be this tank actually that's oh no, this is actually getting water in at a reasonable rate. I don't know whether it's fast enough, that's the only thing I'm thinking about. If it's not fast enough, we'll have to do it differently. We feed it. We can't feed it, we've got to use a tank. But maybe it's possible to use multiple tanks to feed it into tank one. So let's go and have a look back at the mine cam and see what's going on there. This way in it. I haven't put the path in yet for the other bit because that was just a sort of a testy type thing. Actually, let's do it. Let's go the quick way. And now, see if this is actually getting enough water in it. It might not be actually. It might need more. It might need faster water. If we need faster water, we could actually move the whole thing down. To where the where the generation's going on for the water, and then we we'll actually definitely get more, enough water in there, because I'll show you what actually I'll show you in the in the in the base. So I don't know whether that's a problem caused by or problem, a feature caused by um, ender eye pipe being slow or the tardis being slow or whatever. But here, for example, I do this all the time. So in here, basically got. You see that's the amount of hydrogen we're getting in here. It's using hydrogen all the time because it's being taken out and fed down all of these pipes here, like that, and it's coming ending up in this barrel. This barrel's nearly always full, and all these generators are working like crazy. And these have all got octatech capacitors in them. So this little bank of five reduces 400 um, 400 per tick, which is not bad. And this is using I can't see it. And let's turn off that. Uh, Control O isn't it for the thing? 180 RF per tick. So I could upgrade, increase the upgrades in here for that. So that was that working. I've actually got two setups, and most of them are only using that one. 
The other one's over here where I've got it all working as well. I did the second one. There's nothing in here at the moment, which is not surprising. Because I think... Go around this side here. I just could have looked from there. Oh, no, I'm getting a little bit of stuff coming through here. This basically, this is cobblestone from uh, Mercury and I think Venus I saw as well. It's hard to see. It's going in and out so fast. But they're actually coming in here and they're just getting voided off because you don't need that much. You can use it. You can smelt it down. So, for example, um, Mars cobblestone and Pluto cobblestone, I think. Mars is the interesting one, so let's take one of those and have a look at the usage of that. Crafting, we want to smelt it, so they get Mars stone. And the uses for that, you can then sieve that and you'll get Deshaw. 1% drop chance. But over time, you actually end up with quite a lot. And if you use the um, QED, you actually end up with tons of it. So that back again. Actually, I can't put it back in because it's full. You see, it's actually picking up here Mars surface rock, and that isn't coming out. And the reason for that is because in this filter, here, it wasn't enough. There's a filter here, and that's not enough for the Mars rock subsurface rock, but not the rock rocks. So what I have to do with that is actually manually move it across once in a once in a while. It's also picked up a, a torch, one of those sulfur torches. They're actually better so we can simply put this into here like that and then that will come down and it will get into this hopper here and the hopper will then feed it into here and this thing's got a speed up 64 speed upgrades in it and it's using 680 rf per tick so a lot of power all reasonable and they're all being produced all that power is being produced by this row of um sailing generators this one doesn't even need to produce it, it's got it's generating zero, so it's full. And these are just generating so that's 80. So they've got a bit more capacity in there for more stuff. And those are basically getting fed into here. Everything from there is getting fed into here. And occasionally I throw some moon turf in it. See, I've actually got I must have been sieving some, some soul sand because I've got some gas tears and some netherrack, leather wood. Let's go and put this back somewhere. And this, actually, is a very simple device. And what it does, let's turn it on, it's basically collect cocoa beans. Um, yeah, cocoa beans. And the cocoa beans, they're used in the early game for things like um, producing... Um, Nitrogen, because you need nitrogen for things like leather. So you don't get animals to start with. You get one cow. I'll show you how to actually make that one cow into two cows and carry on with that one. Using the RF tools and the rest of it, you can then use that. So I'll look at the uses for this, for example. You see, you can make different things. Which I haven't actually bothered to do. But importantly for what I wanted was mine cam. So here you'll see it's got tannic acid and that's basically carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. But this one here, theobrinium, has got four nitrogen in it. So when you, and it's a 40% chance. So when you mine chem that out, once it's been done, it'll actually, I've got a, spa, I've got a test machine over here. I'll shove it in and so we'll see what happens. There's chemical dissolutions. I'll shove those, actually let's shove them all in like that and you'll end up with I should end up with equal amounts which we have done so if I then take this one here and then put that one in I should end up with 19 times 4 nitrogen 76 I think we'll see So there you are, you see, you've got, yeah, 76. Well, basically that's it. And then to actually make leather, if you actually put in, you can start to create it in here. You see here, I've got that one. I haven't got the book. The book's actually really useful. 
Uh, and I think whenever you break one of these with a book in it, you lose the book. So what can we do? Quickly look at the book, because you need the book. Once you've got your first piece of leather, which takes a long time to make, you can actually take the book. Now, I think the book is a standard book. So we want one of those and I just picked up one, yes, and three pieces of paper which should be in here. I've forgotten what else we need for that. I think it's something very simple. Um, turn it back on again and have a look at mine, Kemp, for this one. It's the middle page, isn't it? It's this one here. So it's just a book and a piece of glass. So glass we should have in here. Oh, a quest book. I actually haven't cl claimed the last quest yet. Which is a bit of a shame. I should do that, shouldn't I? And then this this one, you can actually then put this into the microscope here. Take something you want to analyse. So, for example, let's take a piece of leather. I only want one, but it doesn't matter by the time we get it back. I'll put it back anyway. You put that in here, and then it tells you what you need. Carotene. So, you can then take the book out of here, like this. And you can take your leather out, put your leather back in again. So now, if you look at the book, open the book up, you should see a recipe here for, for leather. Now that says you need carotene. So the decomposer tells you that. And then you have to make it up. So you basically have to take all those ingredients and put them all together. I think that's how it works. Let's have a look at carotene. Let's have a look for that one. Um, So that's one made from leather, and to compose it, we need right. Okay, that's what we need. So you see, you need proline, crystal, crystine, and therine. This one needs nitrogen, carbon, and hydrogen, and oxygen. I think we get all that from the things. This is also similar, and it also needs an S sulfur. And this is another one, but those basically all coming from the the. Um, well, most of them anyway. Sulfur you can get from. Can you get sulfur from? Easy Lee. I know you can do it from early game. Let me have a quick look at that one again. It was this one here. So iron and Christ. Cystine. And the recipe for cystine is this one and sulfur. You can actually get as fuel. Let's see, we need to synthesize it. Yeah, that'll make sulfur dust. I've gone the wrong way. Because you've got six pages of this. So this chemical synthesizing machine, we want the decomposer, I forgot it. Or maybe not. It makes penicillin very useful as well. Sulfur dioxide. Sulfate. You know, ah, here we go. Just seeing there's something obvious in here that we can actually make. Ah, there we go. Gunpowder produces two sulfur and some potassium nitrate and some carbon. So basically, that allows you to build everything up. But it's quite a process, and that's one of the reasons why I want to do this automation with open computers. It might be possible to do it with the robot here, which is called Anton Agris. Must be a must be a patron or something like that. Anyway, I'm going to have to do some more research on that. And so until next time, I'm going to say bye for now.